Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. And in this second video on our Voyager Airshaper F1 Aerodynamics Challenge, we're going to discuss the second aero package that we put together, again, based on community feedback. So last time, we pushed our aero update and we got a massive increase um, in downforce of around 64% and a slight reduction in drag. But we have to come back to that, more on that later. Um, first of all, this time, again, we got a lot of feedback. Uh, we got suggestions on new side pods, um, the fences or streaks. Uh, they will be redesigned with curvature, just like you see here in this suggestion and in other um, suggestions. Again, we got a fantastic video analysis by someone uh, on YouTube. Just check it out. It's all there on the Reddit forum. Um, it was really, really interesting to see what the community came up with. We tried to implement as much as we could. Uh, some parts, like the rear wing, we didn't touch yet, um, because otherwise it's a bit more difficult to draw isolated conclusions. And we want to leave some room, of course, for Aero Package 3. First of all, to jump to the last conclusion, uh, what about the numbers? So if you go uh, to our numbers, the first era update, um, we saw a 64% increase in downforce or reduction in lift coefficient. Um, and we saw a 3% reduction in drag as well, which was Imagine that we were quite a bit disappointed after implementing all the changes for Aero Package 2 or Aero Update 2 that we saw a loss of downforce by 2% and uh, an increase in drag by 5%. So we were completely confused. We thought, oh no, we really screwed that up. What happened? So we went to look at the results. And one thing that we saw is that this is our reference car. Um, so for good practice, we haven't done this yet because we want to keep comparability. Uh, but normally, you create a slight cutoff around the tires to mimic compression of the tires to mimic contact patch and so on. Um, we're working for with the full isolated tire without any cut. And the only cut that you see is because the mesh doesn't fit exactly between the tire and the ground uh, just locally, which automatically creates a tire patch. And if done right, if all tires are positioned on the ground, this mesh um, patch is actually the same. Again, for good practice in CFD, you need to make the cut yourself. Um, but we kept it like this uh, for comparability purposes. Um, and it's only later on uh, that we saw that for Aero um, Package 1, which had a, a massive increase in downforce and so on, we saw that um, we still have the patch at the front wheels, but we didn't have it at the rear wheels. Um, and actually what's happening, if you look at the pressure pattern, um, you can see that if a tire or any cylindrical or airfoil-like curved object is sitting just above the ground, you get a massive acceleration of the air in between the wheel and the ground, because this is a fantastic Venturi effect. So the air accelerates, and because of the Bernoulli effect, you get a huge reduction in drag, so massive negative pressure coefficients there, and this generates a lot of downforce on the wheels. Um, just to illustrate this, if you look at forces and moments on both the original car and the aero update, so you can see on the original car, um, if you look at the forces here below the viewer, um, if I click on the front tires, for example, you can see an upward force of around uh, 20 newtons, so quite neutral. Um, and the rear tires, they had a bit more, two, three, two, uh, 20, sorry, 20 to 30 newtons, uh, something like that, around 30 newtons. Um, so not nothing but negligible and if i then look at the aero package one that we discussed last time if we look at the rear wheels we can see that we have a massive downforce of 450 newtons um, on each wheel uh, so which is incredible which is incredible um, so of course you can wonder uh, shouldn't we apply this to a car to generate downforce in general yes but keeping the wheels floating is quite difficult if you want to transfer loads to the to the ground actually but it does just go to show how powerful underfloor or underbody aerodynamics can be, which is exactly why uh, we're seeing the effects on, on, on the diffuser and so on. So that being said, um, we actually corrected for this. Um, so there's good news and bad news. Uh, the corrected comparison is this one. The bad news is that we didn't have 64, but we had 44% increase in downforce last time and a 2% reduction in drag. And the good news is that the new update again added 11% downforce. So we're now almost at the original 64% increase in downforce, which is good. 
So all of the updates that we got from the community, they were very valuable and we got a lot of extra downforce again. We did see a short, uh, slight penalty in drag. Um, so overall, uh, we have 11% more downforce and 3% reduction um, re uh, increase in drag. So in terms of lift over drag ratio, that's still quite good. Um, but there is a slight penalty, which will be the focus of Air Package 3 to actually reduce that penalty. So if you look at the simulation results, this was the original um, aero update or aero package, which had the um, lack of contact patch. And the new one, actually, we corrected it. So this one does have the contact patch here, uh, as you can see. Uh, sorry, if I can just go to this view, you can see the contact patches on both the rear wheels. And just to make sure, we also have them um, on the latest aero update number two. So let's go over the changes that we made. Let's see if I go to this one and then this one. Um, we grabbed all of the community feedback and tried to bundle it together into one concisive open the side pods. Um, one of the suggestions was to bring the side pods forward and here you can see the orange model is the overlay of the new model, Air Update 2, and the grey one is Air Update 1. Uh, so just ignore where they're kind of coinciding, just look at the dark orange uh, areas which is where uh, they have a lot of differences. Um, so you can see we brought them forward uh, because what we saw um, is that you had a lot of uh, flow separation if you look at aero update one uh, if you look at the surface friction for example um, or surface pressure clouds we see a lot of spillover of the air in this area uh, we wanted to reduce that we saw interaction with the mirrors here as well um, these are all tricky areas in terms of drag and what we also saw is that here at the side of the side pots because of the contraction both in horizontal and vertical plane we saw, if you look at the surface friction, um, that we get flow separation here, which is bad for drag and so on. And we have low surface friction here as well. So we did a number of things. Uh, we brought the side pods forward. Um, we added some extra curvature at the beginning so that it could actually curve downward sooner and then reduce the curvature here at the back so the air has more downward momentum and then the, um, will not face as much curvature here at the rear um, to stay actually attached for longer. That, was, that is what you can see here. So we have a slight bit more curvature here at the beginning of the side pot. And then actually, if you look at it from this point of view, um, the new orange one is a bit more pulled upward to reduce this very strong negative curvature that we had. And we did the same in the side view. Uh, so we pushed this one inward a little, so the, uh, the, the outward movement is reduced, and we started curving outward a bit sooner, so the air is being pushed outward a bit sooner, um, not as much here in the extreme, and then stay attached for longer here, um, which you can actually see in the results. So if you look at surface friction on Air Package 2, um, you can see that we have completely lost this separation uh, bubble that we had here on the previous car. So that's good news. Um, you can also see that um, the mess around the front of the side pots, where we had a lot of flow bubbles here, actually, uh, and, and flow spillover and, and mess around the mirrors, it's still there to some extent. Um, but at the bottom side, it has been completely removed. Uh, we created the new problem area because some of the air is being pushed to the top edge of the side air intakes, um, but the flow is already uh, a lot cleaner. So now next, uh, to reduce drag further, we need to optimize this area. Um, what else did we do? Curvature side pots, um, I think that's basically it. Um, so they have been improved. There's still room for more improvement, um, but thanks a lot for all the feedback. This has been very useful. If we then look at um, the fences, uh, my apologies, um, the fences, if you look at the fences curvature, this we had, uh, if you look at the strakes and the fences, um, so one idea was actually to bring the fence to the top. If you look at this one, uh, because one of the problems we were facing with the uh, error update um, number one is that we had a lot of spillover and we want to reduce this uh, because the spillover is basically um, the consequence of a lot of air um, actually hitting this central um, part of the tunnel here and then spilling over to the sides to the top and so on uh, making a cross flow direction or, or making a cross movement laterally and then spilling over um, via the fences and so on so we wanted to reduce that so one of the ideas was um, to extend the fences which we did actually um, if i reposition 
the view here for a second. Um, yeah. So we have this uh, slight uh, standing strake here or, or fence, which is coming to the upside, uh, to the top side um, of the underfloor. Um, another suggestion was um, to have a less aggressive exit of the inner fence, because what we saw here is that um, this fence here, it's nice to generate this vortex, but here we saw uh, some flow separation here at the end of this fence. So we slightly reduced this uh, angle here, which is what you see here. Um, so you can see the original is this one, the gray one, and the new one is this uh, orange one, which has a slightly softer angle. Um, let me see if I can just change this one. Uh, it should all be fine. Yeah, I need this one. Uh, to reposition and then recenter. My apologies. Now I can zoom a bit more um, to see the upward fence here, this one. And then um, here you can see um, that we changed uh, this outward angle from very sharp to less aggressive there. Um, another thing is um, to reduce the width of the tunnel because this entire pressure buildup of the air here um, is slightly is partially caused because this is quite a blunt shape uh, so we wanted to make it a bit more pointy and a bit more narrow so this pressure buildup is actually more gradual to split the air sooner and and, and push it outward left right in a more gradual way um, which is something that you can see at the bottom of the car so you can see that uh, the new um, uh, actually geometry uh, will be pulled forward, uh, so we have uh, an earlier onset of pushing the air out left, right, and less um, abrupt uh, changing pressure there. Um, another thing um, that was uh, suggested on the Reddit channel um, is that uh, we could actually add some curvature to the fences. They don't have to be straight. Uh, we can add some curvature. Uh, and the cool thing about this curvature is, is that you have a curved intake of the air, just, so you just split the air as you take it in. And if you then make them straight again near the end, um, you actually push the air, which is in, in the middle of the height of this fence, outward, meaning that you actually help to assist to create the swirl and the vortex uh, later on as you reach the end uh, of this uh, straight part of the of the of the streak or the fence um, so you can actually see here at the front view if you zoom in just a little um, so the, the the first fences in area update one were still straight the new ones have this curvature uh, meaning that um, uh, you grab it in a curved way and then you kick it actually outward um, and then this helps to actually induce this uh, vortex that we need to generate downforce. Um, if you look at the results of this one, so this is actually the underfloor aerodynamics overview of air package one. And if you go to air package two, we can see quite a lot of differences. So on the first one, we have this uh, more drag here. Um, on the second one, we can see that we have a different vortex structure, uh, actually both on this and this fence, um, which is a bit different from this one. So we already have some vortex here, probably because of this uh, curved uh, fence, which is then straightened, which helps to kick out some of the vortices. Um, and if we look at the pressure pattern, um, that's the most important part, you can see that this was the original pressure pattern on update two, and this is the new one. So you can see that actually this is still slightly lighter blue uh, in this area. You can see on the new one, we have darker blue, which means that it's working uh, a lot better. Um, just to illustrate it, if you look at the forces and moments over here, if you look at the underbody, the force on the entire underbody, um, you can see that on error, up, error update uh, one, we had a negative force of 2,400 2, newtons. If you look at the new one, uh, error update two, um, let me just rotate it like this and then zoom down again. We have a downforce of 3,770 newtons, which really is a dramatic increase in downforce. And that really ex explains um, the extra 11% that we found. Of course, you need to look at the total body um, and compare things, um, but a lot of this uh, gain has been caused because of the improved underfloor aerodynamics. Um, other things that we did, um, so this, all of this we covered. Um, the mirrors, uh, so actually because we moved the side pots further upstream, uh, we were able to um, position the mirrors directly um, onto the side pots and we could lose actually this horizontal um, connection uh, to the car. Um, if you look at the results, so originally we saw that around the mirror we had a lot of spillover and this actually this support beam here uh, was causing flow separation. If you look at the new 
um, geometry. If I zoom into this one, uh, we see that, of course, because it's gone, there's no problem. But this uh, support beam did maybe help to contain some of the spillover of the air, uh, which we still have. Uh, so either we can solve this by changing this geometry, uh, making it a bit more curved, um, or add like some, some small wing ahead of it. Um, and then we also got the suggestion uh, for the support here of the uh, mirror to curve it outward uh, to remove some of the dirty air at the top of the side pod. I can see that this is um, actually also uh, creating some flow separation here. So we need to look at the complex interaction between the mirror side pot uh, and everything that gets spilled over from the underfloor of the car. Um, so I think it is an improvement, but we caused some new drag areas here, which we still need to uh, mitigate. Um, then um, another area was the halo. We got the suggestion uh, actually to look at the halo, just like on a hatchback, if you don't add like a spoiler. So this was a suggestion that we got um, to actually get a soft downward inclination and then cut it off abruptly so the air doesn't stick to it and, and cause too much drag. Um, a bit more difficult to compare this one, um, but uh, because it doesn't always generate a pressure cloud uh, in the visualizations, um, so uh, if you look at this one, it's all integrated into one single component. Um, but we suggest to actually analyze this data, make some more streamlines. Uh, so maybe a, a call to the community to check in detail if you actually improved it by quite a lot or not. Um, but in any case, the, the, the changes are subtle. Uh, so we may revert or just keep it uh, the way it is. Another suggestion was the rear wing. So we decided not to change the design, even though we got uh, 3D models for a new design. Thanks a lot uh, to the user who sent us the 3D uh, airfoil section and made a standalone analysis. We will probably include this in Aero Package 3, uh, where we want to reduce drag further. Um, but one change that we did do, and we wanted to see the isolated effect of this, is to go from two support struts to one and to change the connection of the swan neck uh, support, which is one that goes to the top, to not affect the suction side, which is the bottom side, because that's very sensitive to separation, to not affect it too much uh, and to uh, grab it from the top and move uh, this cap a bit forward. So if you look at uh, the previous previous package, uh, we saw that if we look at the surface clouds here, you could see that we have a lot of flow separation here at the center of the wing caused by the onset of flow separation um, because of these two swan necks being too close um, to the wing. So they call locally cause flow separation and this really spreads out and you can see the loss in, uh, sorry, if you look at surface friction, uh, you can see some loss in flow, um, attached flow there. Um, if you go to the new design and compare these pressure clouds uh, to the new design, you can actually see um, if you compare them that we uh, lost some of that uh, flow separation there. Uh, so it's still there. Um, because now it's a central part. Uh, this could be optimized even further, um, but this uh, should be actually reducing the flow separation. Again, we will change the complete design of the rear wing in the next Aero um, update uh, based on the impact, input of Luca that we got. Um, but for now, this is the uh, modification that we did. So to conclude this overview, first of all, we had a major correction on our previous achievements. Our apologies for that, but this is how CFD goes. Um, so we honestly have to admit that we made a very common mistake, a small change in geometry uh, between different versions that we didn't, didn't notice uh, caused a huge change in performance. We corrected it and we saw that Air Update 2 again improved uh, a lot of imp uh, performance improvements. Um, the goal for the third era update is to reduce drag. We'll be working on the rear wing design, uh, which is our top priority now, uh, to change the rear wing, see if we can improve it further. And we suggest um, to send in uh, suggestions for uh, slight improvements to the side pot so we can get rid of some of these uh, turbulent uh, areas, flow separation areas that we have now introduced. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks again, a massive thanks to the community for providing all of the input. It has been super interesting um, to see how, how all of this works out. Again, we're looking forward to see suggestions, sketches, even YouTube videos again appear on our Reddit channel and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.